Bachelorette fan favorite has been exposed as a liar and cheater from exes. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news. We've got to talk about Nate from this season, but before we get into it, if you are new here, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you're always up to date with all things Bachelor Nation. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, and Nate from this season of The Bachelorette, the single dad who's dating Gabby, has been been exposed by his ex-girlfriends through Reality Steve. This was obviously not super exciting to read and hear about as a lot of us have been rooting for Nate all season. Now his one ex-girlfriend, Kelsey, they dated for a year and a half and she shared that he never told her about his daughter. She had pictures, screenshots, and gifts to prove that they dated. She had the timeline mapped out that she gave to Reality Steve who put together a lengthy article with all of the you know proof that they were dating, that she even met his family, like his brother, she's met his friends, they traveled together, and she had no idea that one, he was cheating on her with another woman, and the other woman actually was able to talk to Kelsey, and they exchanged, you know, DMs, and those screenshots came out as well, but also she had no idea that he even had a kid after they broke up. She actually found out about Nate's daughter on The Bachelorette when she started watching the show. So this is not looking good for Nate as there is a lot of proof to back up these claims. However, Nate did not address the allegation specifically, but he did reply to a comment on Instagram writing, there are two sides to every story. And as the creator of The Bachelor, Mike Fleiss, kind of defended Nate writing on Twitter, don't jump to conclusions about certain cast members based on mere allegations. As disturbing as they may be, I beg you to wait until all the facts come out before making any judgments. So it sounds like there is two sides to every story, which there always is. There's actually three sides to every story, her side, his side, and the truth. However, I mean, Kelsey came in with receipts. You know, Nate seemed to be cheating on her, and that's just not really cool if he's playing women before the show and then putting on this good guy image for Gabby and viewers. Now, Nate is going to have to share his side eventually, as Mike Fleiss tweeted, and I look forward to hearing Nate's side. You know, we don't want to judge too soon, no matter how easy it is with all the facts. You know, Nate does deserve to speak his truth. We have been invested in his journey this thus far on the season, and, you know, Maybe he'll address it at the Mentel All. You know, rumors are circulating that the Mentel All is going to be filmed in the next few days, and we don't know if Nate goes super far. You know, we saw him in the trailer with Gabby. It looks like there was a possible breakup where Gabby might not want to bring him to hometowns because she's not ready to personally be a stepmom. So it's very possible that Nate will be at the Mentel All, and that's when he'll be able to have a hot seat with Jesse Palmer and talk about all of this. This is just what I am assuming. Now, Kelsey, his ex, did want to clear up some things before you know she goes before this article you know ended Kelsey really wanted to say I wish Nate all the best I don't want to affect his future but it's important for me to try and prevent any other girl from being blindsided by his secrecies so it really seems like Kelsey she wants to wish him well I mean she did just expose him to the world to Bachelor Nation but Nate also put himself in that position by going on the show to begin with, but also by, you know, doing these things to these girls behind the scenes for so long. So I understand why Kelsey wanted to kind of speak her truth. It doesn't seem like she wants to be too involved in all of this media frenzy. She did deny going on Reality Steve's podcast to talk more about it, but she did want to put the facts out there for people to judge how they want to judge. So I look forward to hearing what Nate has to say. I mean, this is super disappointing. I don't know how you don't tell someone about your kid when you're dating them for a year and a half. Why is he trying to hide his kid? What's his relationship with his ex-wife and his daughter? Um, lots of more questions we have for Nate, so definitely look forward to hearing what he has to say. Um, let us know what your thoughts are on this story in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell before you head out of here. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. My socials are at Zachary Reality on the screen right now. Be sure to give me a follow. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.